Uh, yeah, I was a magician, and I, I made, um, in those days, the fortune sometimes, while in high school, of $20, $25 a night at a church or a you know, company celebration or something. Yeah, I was very good. I had some good teachers, and uh, I bought, I, uh, I was able to lend my school teacher parents $800 as the down payment on a new car when I was in 10th grade. I did some apparatus magic. I did some, uh, I have a genius rope routine that I do, taught to me by a genius magician. At 15, I won a trophy at an International Brotherhood of Magicians convention, um, beating out in the same category, the president of the Society of American Magicians, which allowed my hometown paper, the Lincoln Journal and Star, to do the headline with three pictures of me and my bow tie and my rope and my scissors. Um, Young Lincoln Sharpie, best magician's group head. That just perfectly fit. There was a link between Carson and me and magic because we used to, sometimes I would say, Johnny, teach me to do a double lift with a deck. I can never master it. And he would come back to my dressing room after we taped and his show and, and demonstrate. And uh, one night he, he had me to dinner at his house, a thing his staff couldn't believe, um, since he didn't really do stuff like that. And he, sh he was producing lit cigarettes when I arrived and showing me how. And then we smelled something. And looking down, there was almost by then a quarter-sized black burn spreading on the brand new Aubusson carpet that his wife had bought two days earlier. <laughs> so there was a bit of tension at dinner.